Evening humans, proud to be working with TreeStuff.com and bringing you this unboxing overview and first impressions of the Notch Pro Gear Bag. All right, this is 77 liters to give you an idea of volume compared to something you've been using. It is 900 denier fabric, and I had no clue what that was, so I had to look it up, and denier is a industry standard for weighing how heavy duty a fabric is, and 900 is pretty heavy duty, so it's not gonna wear out. Right, so let's open this up a little bit. Kind of a different design on the locks. Seems pretty handy. We'll see in time. Looks like in rope bags you do have drawstring to close it up to seal it pretty nicely. It does have a reinforced bottom so you're not wearing that out. It has side carry handles on both left and right depending on which way the weight's distributed in here and straps to carry like a backpack as well. It has a special compartment in the top that they're saying is for your helmet. Kind of keep it separate and protected. It's pretty roomy. I'm sure you could use it for whatever you want to though. You'll notice quite a few daisy chains run all along on the back and also on the inside. But you have one long continuous daisy chain all along the upper rim. In this front compartment, we have daisy chains and an elastic mesh. And each side also has a separate compartment. This thing's brand new, so it's kind of stiff. So you've got room to store stuff there as well. Just takes a second to get used to doing that. Cool. Pretty unique way of doing it. It's actually girthed onto itself. It has a sewn in eyelet on there. Just feed it through itself and take it off. The back pad is molded. It's pretty comfortable on thing. We'll see how it feels with some weight to it. Pretty high density foam in the back to make sure you don't get anything sticking you. Very much looking forward to using this. My old storage solution is just a big duffel with a bunch of smaller bags inside the duffel. So it was bags and bags and bags. And so it'll be pretty nice to have one set storage for all the climbing gear. But I'm gonna go off camera, take some time to uh, go ahead and load this guy up for hopefully some use and I'll be back in a bit. That's a whole lot more comfortable than humping around a duffel bag, I'll tell you that. That's actually really nice, nothing stabbing me in the back or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Also, I didn't realize it at first, but these buckles are straps for the side pockets, which are surprisingly roomy. There's a whole lot you can fit in these. I'm really starting to fall for these buckles. Once they're locked in, they're not coming undone, and there's no moving parts, so they're not going to break. It takes a second just to get used to the motion, but, I mean, they're not bad at all. They're pretty sweet. So, I like those. As I said, you have surprisingly large amount of room in these side pockets. So I actually filmed everything up to this point a few months ago and it kind of slipped my mind to edit and post this video, but now I've got a better idea of how I feel about it and I love it. It hasn't been used as you would using it every day yet, but I have been using it and it's held up incredibly well and as you can see it still looks brand new. And the features that it has make it incredibly convenient. Wearing it like a backpack with this molded pad, you don't get anything really digging into your back, causing you pain when you're humping. Even with all my gear, it's pretty freaking heavy and it's still super comfortable to uh, wear. I think it's hardest for me to decide how I want to store gear in it, really. Uh, currently, I've got a bunch of ionized on one side, my rope wrench SRT setup on the other side, uh, spare beaners, uh, first aid kit, things like that in the front pocket. And then on my climbing gear in the actual bag itself, uh, we got some rope, my lanyards, my harness, throw line, handsaw, on the top beaner around the top, I've got all my climbing equipment. It's definitely one of those things where once you've had it for a little bit, you don't really think about the cost because it's not the cheapest bag on the market. You just are happy with it. You know, you forget about how, what the price was and you're just glad you have it. I'm sure there are other fine 
gear bags out there. This is the one I went with and really happy with it. See the description below for a link to the product page at TreeStuff.com. Use the discount code online so you get 7% off your entire order at TreeStuff.com. And as always, have a good one, humans.